Hello subscribers and future subscribers, I'm Karma Jolt, this game is Thunder Snail, and I am about to do it. Now, last we left off, I beat up some dummy, and now I'm in the town of Waterfall, and I'm going to visit my friend Napstabluke, because he told me to come visit, and I was like, yeah, okay, I'll come visit. Oh, you really came. What, did he not expect me to visit? Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. I guess he wasn't expecting that. Okay, he answered my question. It's not much, but make yourself at home. What's in here? I'm gonna go straight for the food, because that's the polite thing to do when you're at someone's house, is to eat their food. It's like a sign of respect. Like, oh, I respect your culture and your cooking, and I want to partake in some of your cuisine. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. <clears throat> Doesn't even capitalize the word I. This is a ghost sandwich. Doesn't really capitalize any of his sentences. I do want to try it. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. I guess that means it's low cal. Oh, never mind. That's, I mean, more than I would have expected from a host. Anyway, after a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. Okay. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Yes, I do. Okay, follow my lead. Now, apparently last time I got up too early and I missed something neat. Here we go, you'll lie down as long as you don't move. All right, so I'm gonna keep my hands up here so I can't screw up. So only move around when you want to get up, I guess. All right, well, I guess I, I have to use my hands one more time. So far, so good. It's just like a regular old nap on the wooden floor. The music stopped. Holy shit, what did I eat? This is an amazing experience. I really appreciate the ambiance. I don't feel like garbage at all. I feel like, I feel like I'm part of something, namely the universe. Napstabluke, this is an incredible experience, and I'm glad you shared it with me. Uh, but I gotta pee, so... Wow. I'm coming down now. Well, that was nice, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. Sure, you do you. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it, sometimes. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Oh, like Napster, Bluke. I get it now. What's this? It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. This one's my favorite. I like Gulliday music. I'll play it. Oh, this one. Once you learn the lyrics, it's hard not to sing along. I actually sing this song all the time at home. Uh, well, thanks for letting me visit, Napster, Bluke. Oh good, it keeps playing. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna skip straight through this town. And I am going... to GTFO. Uh, that's not the way I meant to go. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to focus on getting to the places that I didn't show you in my first playthrough. What is that? Hurt, beaten, and feel fearful for our lives, we surrender to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. What was that little dot that just came and visited me? Should I have chased that thing? Wait, wait, wait. I want to touch it now. I... They make sounds. I didn't know I could interact with those things at all. Special enemy Temmy appears here to defeat you. I'ma talk to it and tell it, try to convince it not to do that. You say hello. Hoi, I'm Temmy. Oh shit, dude. What was I supposed to do about that? There's no way I could have defeated him or her. Probably, as far as I know. Temmy forgot her other snack. Well, oh, I can already spare Temmy? Uh, I forgot to read some signs, didn't I? 
There's only one way to reverse the spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attack the barrier, it will be destroyed. Oh, okay, MBD. That's not a Temi Flake that I can pick up? I don't know what that is. But this cursed plane place has no entrances, entrances, or exit. There's no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. <clears throat> I don't really remember these floating dots in my last playthrough. Was there something I missed? Uh, also, what happens if I go this way? Uh... Oh, I'm gonna spare this Mold Small. But not spare... Mold Small is very normal. Wait, why did that battle sequence... ...last so shortly? Whoa, I wiggled my hips and he was like, Guo. Whoa, that is hard to concentrate on all those dots. Mold Big needs some distance. I'm gonna unhug him. You don't hug him. I don't hug him, and it appreciates my respect of his boundaries. Roar. <laughs> I I can appreciate it as well. Because I'm not very good at hugging. Seems comfortable. Okay, I'm gonna spare him. 20 bucks. Whoa, what is down here? I found the secret, guys. <clears throat> I sort of knew it was there. Surprise. Oi, welcome. Welcome to Tem Village. Oi, I'm Temmy, and dis my friend Temmy. Oi, I'm Temmy, and dis my friend Temmy. Oi, I'm Temmy. Don't forget my friend. Don't forget my friend. Hi, I'm Bob. <laughs> Oi, you should check out Tem Shop, as in the item shop. <laughs> this arrangement of the dog song is amazing. What can I buy here? Heals 2 HP, food of Tem. Heals 2 HP, discount f <laughs> Tem, like, on sale. <laughs> Expensive. Okay, I will buy it for 1G. Thanks, purchase. Uh, what can I talk about? I'm gonna say hello. Hoi, I'm Temmy. About yourself? Hoi, I'm Temmy. Temmy history. Us Tems have a deep history. About shop. Yeah, yeah, go to Tem shop. Well, I wonder if I can sell temp flakes for more than I bought them for. You gotta, you go to temp flakes. Hmm. I gotta have that temp flakes, but I gotta pay for college. Hmm. <clears throat> Tem I always want temp flakes. B but p p. <laughs> you will regret this. <laughs> I can sell it. Tim buy flakes for 2G. Oh, so... At first, she or he offered me five gold. I wonder, okay, so let's try this one then. I'm gonna try to sell back the thing I just bought. Buy Tim flakes? Tim buy Tim flakes. Okay, uh, never mind. I thought for some reason... Whoa! <laughs> bag fulls. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna sell this Astro food. Why not? Can I try it again? Will it work? I guess it's like a one-time offer. So... Mm, maybe I should have bought the expensive one first and then see what he or she would offer me? Boy! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. Should check. Tem shop. A wa 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 wa. Humans, such a cute. Use the box? Yes, I will use this box. I'll put a Temi Flakes inside the box. What is this? Statue of Tem. Very famous, very. What's this? Mushroom dance? Mushroom dance, whatever could it mean? It symbolizes my inner torment trapped here by my hyphae. My struggle to pull away. 
My struggle to escape, but alas, to no avail. Wow, so this reminds me a lot of Saturn Valley and Mother 3. Feeling of being watched. It's a hard-boiled. Tem, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tem, proud parent. It's hard-boiled. Oh, that's the joke, because it'll never hatch, because it's dead inside. Just like most of us watching this video. P, Tem heard human allergies... Tem heard human allergics to Tem. Dad okay, Tem understand. Tem, also allergic to Tem. No! Tem's getting puffy! Hoives, ah. Uh, I'm so sorry. You feel something. You're filled with determination. Well, that was part of the episode, but what the fuck is this? Rich history of Tem. Ah, uh, I love that there's like this ominous little picture of a shadow dragon and a Tem. I really wonder how they're related, and I would love to find out. Damn it, did I forget the little thing? I maybe I have to switch off the off. Well, I'm clearly wandering in the wrong direction. I'm gonna spare you guys from... I walked right into that. I'm gonna run away from that battle so you don't have to watch me flexing like 800 times. Uh, this appears to be the correct direction. So I'll go the way I'm supposed to. And made it, yeah. I'm pretty good at this game because I can figure out where I'm going. Even though it's somewhat, um, what's the word? Obvious? No, that's not it. Cunning. Well, I'm walking on this path. I hope you guys are having a great time. Oh shit, Moldvig and Washua. I like Washua, actually, because I like the ones where I have to clean, I'm sorry, where I have to collect the green things. Holy shit. Yeah, see, I did it and I'm good at games. Chased Wiggle? What? I guess that's what that was. It was pretty unsexy, if you ask me. It smells like a bait shop. I will lie down and see what happens. Moldbig lies down too. Moldbig understands life now. Roar! Uh, just barely escaped that series of bullets and stuff. Moldbig gyrates reservedly. I don't hug him in it. Uh, okay, respect or whatever. And now I'm just dodging all these circles. As if I don't want to get hit in the face with balls. I earned 45 bucks from not hugging those people. I wonder if I should do that more often. IRL. Damn it, I hate the part where I have to guess where I'm going. It's just too much like real life, you know? Well, I'm gonna go around this wall. Oh shit, the music suddenly got less loud and also stopped. So that means something crazy and scary is gonna happen. I'll talk to this flower because that makes sense. Behind you. Oh fucking shit. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king. King Asgore Dreamer. Which, if you rearrange the letters, is... Oh gosh, that will take me a while, and I'll, I'll, I'll just figure it out later. How about that? I promise. We'll become a god. With that power, Asgore... Um, what can't you spell? You can feel so rage. I think I came up with that earlier, right? Can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. That's Undyne's voice, it's just me. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul or I'll tear it from your body. I, you can have it. Whoa, that's pretty dispiriting. Undyne, I'll help you fight. 
Yo, you did it! Anita's right in front of you. You got front row seats to her fight. Here's the thing, though, uh, friend. I don't believe you understand. Wait, who's she fighting? Oh, you're in so much trouble. You're gonna get it now. You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? I bet the flower says you aren't gonna tell my parents about this, aren't you? Are you? I haven't found a camera in a while, I must say. It's kind of disheartening to know that nobody's watching me anymore. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under, standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. Ah, that's cute. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return and the underground will go empty. Is that me? Is it talking about me? I always assume that everyone's talking about me. Yo! How did he get out... Uh, how did he get untroubled? How did he get out of time out? Or she, I don't know. Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? Haha, <laughs> man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean, Unnine told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, uh, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that, haha. <laughs> yo, uh, say something mean so I can hate you, please? Nah. Yo, what? So I, so I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I, I hate your guts. Man, I, I'm such a turd. I'm gonna go home now. Well, see ya, friend. No, don't fall! Yo, woo woo wait, help, I tripped. I will help my friend. I will help my friend and Undyne will be impressed with me. Cause that's all I ever wanted, really. Yo, dude. If, if you wanna hurt my friend, you're gonna have to get through me first. Which means uh, Undyne is gonna have to grab this friend of mine by the ear and drag him or her away again. Which took like a whole three minutes last time. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin? Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. Haha. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Yeah, we'll settle for that. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Hey, uh, don't trip or anything on the way back. Later, dude. He or she didn't trip. Well, gonna do this weird grind my face on the wall technique even though there's technically no wall there. Gasp. Seven. Seven human souls. Yeah, I know about all this. Six. That's the number right before seven. That's how many we have collected thus far. I was, I mean, I wasn't wrong. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary, for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. When, I, how long ago? No, you know what? Screw it. Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? Die, die. Naga. Naga. Damn, her eyes just glinted at me. You, you're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. And yes, Undyne is a female character. Alpha's history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. <laughs> but you? You're just a coward. The joke is that Alphys is, uh, you'll find this out later, but whatever. Spoilers. Alphys's, Dr. Alphys's history textbooks are all just like manga and anime DVDs. Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy good goody two-shoes shtick. Ooh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. 
Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Alright, well, when you put it that way, it makes me sound like a jerk. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Gosh, that sounds awful. It's like if you were a psychic, but you couldn't control when you hear people's thoughts, and you just heard all of their thoughts all the time. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Yeah. Yeah, you should tell that to, like, every sports team. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. Foo hoo hoo hoo. <laughs> Maybe is how you pronounce that. The wind is howling, you're filled with determination. Alright, let's do this shit. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come. Damn, she just dived on me with a spearer. Un a spearer? A spear. Unguard. Undyne attacks. I'm gonna actually hit her in the face. Bop! Get wrecked, Undyne. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on, you won't last a second against me. Did it! I'm so good at this game. Undyne suplex is a huge boulder, just because she can. Well, I will challenge Undyne. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy, the bulls get faster. Not bad! Then try dodging this. I'm so good at this. Undyne suplex is another boulder. I mean, like, how many rocks are there? For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. Damn, I blocked all the arrows. Undyne bounces impatiently. And now, sunlight is just within our reach. I was messing around a whole lot. Oh, you know what I just noticed? The arrows turn red when they... When it's like the next arrow that's gonna hit you. Don't tower threateningly. You told Undyne you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. I won't let you snatch it away from us. I don't know if the pleading actually does anything or if it just says it does something. She points heroically towards the sky. Uh, she remembers someone. Her attacks became a little less extreme. Okay, so I've been told that when she's remembering someone, she's thinking about Papyrus and she might have promised him that she would not hurt the human. Nyah! Enough warming up. I mean, I wasn't quite warm enough. Well, I had some really, I had some real trouble with the arrows coming from the bottom. Also, I, I really think the background moving in this battle is meant to mess with you because it throws off my spatial awareness by a lot. Like, I sort of forgot where I am right now. I still can't believe you want to spare me. I mean, is that really so unbelievable? Because I've because I said I was doing a true pacifist run. Oh wait, I can run now, can I? Because I'm no longer green. See ya. I'm gonna make you weave around and shit. Chop. Now I'm green. You won't get away from me this time. When have I ever gotten away from you? Except for all the last few times. Yeah, I guess when she was throwing spears at me before. But nothing happened. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. Okay, I think I sort of remember that one being a lot harder. So maybe I did make it easier by pleading a whole bunch. Oh shit. I made it so easy. Undyne flips her spear impatiently. Bop! <laughs> I'm gonna do 13 damage to you. Killing you now is an act of mercy! Undyne holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. Uh, well? I'm gonna cheaty check. The heroine that never gives up. Don't take that out of context. So stop being so damn resilient! Haha! -ha, I dodged the thing again. Undyne draws her finger across her neck. See ya. Look what I can do while I'm running away. 
Shit. Maybe I should have dodged that. You've escaped from me for the last time. Undyne attacks. Well, I'm gonna keep pleading. Alpha Sony humans were determined. That's sometimes true. But also sometimes humans are just lazy and irresponsible. And not all that great. I see now what she meant by that. Haha, -ha, that green arrow isn't gonna fool me for too long. Actually, I'm probably gonna get wrecked by the next green arrow. The, there's like one attack that's all green arrows, and I'm totally gonna punt on it. But I am determined to. Ha! I did it! Undyne bounces impatiently. Uh, just for the hell of it? I'm gonna eat a dog salad! You eat the dog salad! Oh, tastes yappy. Your HP was maxed out. What does yappy taste like? What does that even mean? Ha! I didn't get hit by any of your attacks. That means I'm good at games. And I'm handsome and smart. And I will definitely become famous someday for the YouTube videos that are so good. Right? Right, guys? It smells like sushi. So... Can I run? Right! Now! Could have been tougher, Undyne. I'm gonna challenge her. You're too, your, your attacks are too easy. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. <laughs> that was meant to confuse me, but it didn't work because I am perpetually confused and you can't confuse someone who's already confused, right? Nah, die already, you little brat. Yup, this is the one I'm talking about. All right, honestly, I didn't do so bad. There. I didn't do as bad as I did last time. Getting away. Ring? Hey! What's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Click. That's a great suggestion, Papyrus. Oh shit! She just ran right through me, basically. Oh shit. <laughs> I wanted to check what was happening, what she was doing. Standing there talking to Sans while he was asleep. <laughs> What's the matter? Scared? Armor's so hot. But I can't give up. Stay determined, Undyne. You can do this. I'm just a child. Take a cup of water? I took a cup of water. Hey, uh, I thought you might be thirsty. Yeah, I will give Undyne the water. Right in the face. You'll wake up. Her... Uh-oh, that gave her so much power and determination. I'm ready for this next battle right now. Right now. Here it is. We're about to square off. It's happening right now. Where'd she go? Where did Sans go? Where did anyone go? Oh, well, there's that guy. Okay, K, K, K. I was thirsty, so I came from Waterfall to get a drink. That's weird, because don't they have water over there? Sorry, Undyne, like, told us there was totally a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Nah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, uh, anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Nothing. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination, because science rules no matter where you are. Okay, I'm going to stop the episode there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it wasn't too awful and that I wasn't unfunny or something like that. But thank you so much for watching. Until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm great. Ding.